Okay, I don't know why. This is hunting for purple streetlights in Kansas City. Video 312, I guess. Why the fuck? Okay, I don't know why. I don't Head know west toward way. West 42nd Avenue. I have to go the wrong way. I don't know. Here we go. <clears throat> My other video ended because every time I go out of the app, it uh. Continue on video. Rainbow Boulevard for one mile. So I, went, I wanted to go to my maps though to continue my journey and boop. When I did that, it ended it. So. All right, so we're gonna keep going here. Here's some mercury vaporish lights to the right. Just a couple of them. Looks like two cycling sodium lights here so they're kind of peach colored like partially in the mercury vapor phase and this is like a topographic trough here i guess or depression or whatever kind of trough or something. I don't know if it's significant with regard to topography, um, but do do notice though, the terrain is at least dynamic here. I don't know what it looks like. You have to look at a larger topographic map. Um, I don't just assume it's that. Take the way. next right onto oh, West 45th on. Avenue, then turn left onto Francis well, Street. I just found some mercury vapor lights over here, so we're gonna take a right real quick onto 45th Avenue from what we were just on. I see some more mercury vapor lights here. Take the next left onto Francis Street, then turn right onto West 45th Avenue. This might though be on the top of like a hill, I guess. I don't know. All right, so looking to the right, just so you know, it goes down. I don't know if I can show you how well I see it go down there, but you can look at this thing. Head the south on Francis it. Street toward I'm West 46th Avenue. I'm gonna take a right here though. Okay, I got a stop sign, but. So this looks like a hill. So we have one at the very top, though. Oh, the, and look at this, though. In it 800 goes right feet, down. turn right onto State Line Road. Well, I don't know. Just something I noticed. Um, okay. So I see it's behind me, there are at least two mercury vapor lights along this street. In 600 feet, turn left onto West 46th Avenue. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. It's steep as heck. This goes down, and then I'm gonna turn around though. Take the next so left onto West 46th lights. Avenue, then turn right onto State Line on Road. Right now I'm not doing that, but I want to keep that available for people, and at some point in the future, I don't know when, I might do that. I wish I could code and like mine videos and stuff, but I'm not that sophisticated. Somebody else probably is, so. This is zero. Uh, In 400 feet, turn right onto West 45th Avenue. Take the next right onto West 45th Avenue, then turn right onto State Line Road. So I don't know what this does. I mean, you gotta look at this on a topographic map and you can look at the drains and stuff. I don't know where they are right now. Actually, there's one to the left right now. This does kind of go down to that drain. In 800 course, feet, has turn right onto Seneca so Avenue. Uh, this could be like a counterexample. I don't know. It is still, we're still going up a hill though, actually. Just like. And then this looks like it's kind of the top though. Take the next right onto Seneca Avenue, then turn right onto State Line Road. There's some to the right, so I guess we're gonna go to the right so we can get all these. There's just one, I guess. One right here. So they're kind of, looks like they're kind of sporadic, I guess, but they're kind of in runs though when they appear. So to the left, just so you know, I'll prove it that there are none over there. There are none ahead of us. I'm gonna take a right onto this, which is like, I just saw a cartridge, cartridge? I don't know what 
that actually says. Okay, this is another example of one, except it's not convex. In 800 feet, turn left onto West okay, 45th Avenue. Maybe the glass is broken, I don't know. There's another one here. Take the next left onto West 45th Avenue, then turn right onto State Line Road. Okay, and I see one ahead of us. If we keep going, I don't know. These are kind of uh, interspersed here, actually. I still think I see a lot of examples that are that way. I don't know. I've not. I can't just drive everywhere to the right. I see three of them down that road. That might have been the same road that we just came down. <clears throat> In 500 feet, turn Open left onto West 46th like Avenue. And there are no purple streetlights over here, at least. In the other place Take the I next came. left onto West 46th Avenue, then turn right onto State Line Road. Okay. So we are some here. To the left. I don't see any. Um, looks like a right now. We have some more over there in line with the other ones, actually. Okay, this goes up a hill. In 800 feet, turn left onto Rainbow Boulevard. <laughs> one, two, and three. I think there are one, two, and three on the other street. To the right, like if you're to go, okay, that's Francis. So if we keep going that way, there's see there they're on the other block as well too. Okay. Turn left onto Rainbow Boulevard. All right, now, and go back onto Rainbow Boulevard here. for three quarters of a mile. Because of all the dust that I encountered recently, I think it may have actually started something after it. Which I can just probably just get immune to. Sometimes, especially salmon. That's I mean, it's like you could never have a problem with it, but I just kind of wonder if, like, the further back you go, however many thousand years ago, or millions of years ago, I don't think they washed their hands before they touched their food. You know, like, I don't know, I just think, I, you know, if you're doing an experiment on people, thousand feet, turn left onto Shawnee Mission Parkway. you'd want to control for certain kinds of things. You want to make sure that some, some flora don't grow in them and others do, if you, especially if you wanted to interact with those flora somehow or do something else. I don't know. I think being really high. At like, the light, turn left on the shiny mission wise, parkway. may not make a lot of sense. Know, especially if there's there are conflicting interests with their health at some point. So that's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. You don't want people like, you, know, you don't want any other factors or variables. I just make sure, try to make sure their immune system doesn't get trained real long. Or any other complicating kinds of cultures or flora in somebody, or you know, any kind of RNA or anything like that. I don't know. I, I don't even know if I can believe it. I'm damn near. Anything. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Ward Parkway. Like splicing, is that really a 
completely. Does it splice out like a freaking almost all the RNA, like a great percentage of the RNA that it just transcribed and used NTPs to make? Like nucleotide triphosphates? ATP is a nucleotide triphosphate. ATP is an energy molecule, right? All those molecules are this are approximately the same amount of energy because they're triphosphates that it makes. Yet it transcribes that into RNA from our DNA, and then it junks all those all that those nucleotide triphosphates that it just transcribed, except for what it splices together to make in the exons. It's just like I don't know. SARS CoV 2, though, apparently doesn't have to do Take that. Take the next right onto Ward Parkway. The, the polymerase can jump around on it and transcribe different things or make even circular RNAs and all kinds of stuff, I guess. All right, so. Continue on Ward Parkway for one and a half miles. I believe they're not designed to spend much of shit. <clears throat> and I don't really know what I think right now. It's about it sp ever spreading and stuff like that, if it's real or what. Or if it's dependent. Anyway. Maybe some thoughts. If you're, the, if you're not into the sciences, it may not mean much. Oh, multi-window closed, huh? I don't know what that means in my phone, but... It's still recording, interestingly. History. Notice I may not have Google Maps stopped or you know? Oh, that's nice to know that your Google Maps has stopped, guys. Alright, so let's see where we are. Where are we? Because I wasn't paying attention to where we Okay, west over. Yeah, that's not even saying west over. Over in Belton. They just keep using the same name to streets, it's confusing. I have the same longitude as that one. Okay, 58 Street, so I'm at least going south on this. So we can go down to like, I don't know, 63. Right now, my battery's not being funny. There are other times. My battery will like, not my battery, my, the CPU on this will even make it so my turn signals don't work and stuff like that. It's fucked up. And now it's not doing that. It's interesting. Quarter mile at the traffic circle. Take the third exit and stay on Ward Parkway. Oh, there's actually a body of water to the left, actually, in the, in the median. Oh, she's still talking. This is 63rd Street. Uh, 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 uh. Right. This is actually redundant, though, actually. So we're at one Ward Parkway here. Parkway and at 63rd Street. We're not like really far from Troost Avenue. I think we've we have actually driven on this back in like some earlier hunting for purple street light in Kansas City episode. I don't even remember which one. It's been like a while. Um geez, my window is even dirty. It's there's Rick. Anyway, there's not really a point in me continuing here because I've I think I've driven over this, but I'm gonna in go to the east. Mile, turn right onto Wernal Road. Actually, I don't know if I went. I'm trying to remember if I did or not. We're just gonna go to a point where I know we've seen, which would be like 75th. I'm sorry, like uh, Wernal, I think, or home, Wernal or Holmes.
At the light, turn right onto Wernal Road. I'm sure that made it slide before. I don't know. Okay, this is Wernal. And then we got like these bar, or no. Continue on West 63rd Street for one mile. Yeah, so we're like a mile away from church. So it looks like stretch. Tourist along to the left. Thousand feet, turn right onto Troost Avenue. This is uh, Rock Hill. Alright, so this is Troost Avenue, so this is. The At the light, Troost. turn right onto Troost Avenue. It's there on the side of the building. It goes up to a hill and then it goes back down to there. Um, okay, the hill goes up here. Continue on Troost Avenue for two miles. These are mercury vapor related lights in the parking lot. It's a little more elevated than over here. I don't know. I'm not trying to like make any statement for sure about it, but it's still actually, it's really hard to, if the terrain's dynamic, there's always gonna be a downhill and an uphill. So it's not really easy to pick a lot of examples and know, not looking at a topographic map. And then sometimes it's ambiguous on a topographic map. But I, based upon how many of them I've seen, what I keep seeing, with them, I don't think that it's not on purpose. Let's put it that way. So I'm making a mistake. But I do not know how to define a trough because troughs can be a certain width, they can be a certain depth. Um, the incline changes at different points. How do you define something and say, okay, this is how I'm gonna try to figure it out? See if there's a trend. So I haven't even tried. I, uh, haven't even tried. I want somebody else smarter to do it. Who's more? Who's uh, good at math <laughs> in multiple dimensions? Three dimensions. Or there's two dimensions. Well, three dimensions really. And shapes you can look at like. The,
This is Gregory Boulevard here. I always think of Gregory Boulevard when it's at 53rd Street. <coughs> Before. I don't know whether we've seen it, but we might have seen 53rd Street. Um, I'm going in that direction. There's also Meyer Boulevard, too, so. Um, then we have to the left here, so it goes up a hill here. Okay, so I did see Mercury Vapor Light to the left behind these buildings, but I've also there are mul multiple locations they do have Mercury Vapor Lights in between the buildings and then also in the houses. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just made a note of them when I was walking. I didn't actually record that. I don't know if I uploaded what I recorded because it was kind of choppy. But um, we have these right here, and there's a hill here. And then I think, uh, was it Brookside or Brooklyn or something like that? There are some other streets to the left. If you take 70 Street, 75th Street, where you'll see them, and they're all... Almost all of them are like in troughs or on the edge of the troughs, and it's just kind of like, huh, can that really, it's just an accident or what? I don't know if it's really an accident, guys. And then I've already talked about the ones coming up here. I don't know if that's, is that one? I can't tell right now if that's one right now, I don't think so. Um, then there are these other ones that are in line with the trough that becomes like a water treatment, not really a water treatment, it's like a, they grow stuff in this topographic trough right by where I live. And where I live is also a topographic trough, like a pretty deep one, compared to the terrain on Troost here. And we have these cycling mercury vapor lights to turn on and turn off there. And then also, I'll show you something here a little bit. Okay, so to the right, um, on a building to the right here eventually. Let's see, I'll be able to point to it here in a second. Wherever that. Okay, on this building here, there will be two mercury vapor lights there, a mercury vapor light there. Somebody's walking in the street here. Those are actually in line with the trough that goes down that direction. Then there's one right by the trough and it goes down pretty steeply. Then as part of that trough or kind of associated with that in trough, feet, it's going, also going down over East here. Place, and then it's Avenue. really deep and dark there. And then believe it or not, these lights right here, they don't look like they're in line with anything like groundwater or anything like that. But there are like 13 of these and they are in line guys. They are in line with that trough down there because take the next left onto East 82 Place, it rains, President Avenue, then turn right onto Forest Avenue. You can see that the water is in a direct line with those mercury vapor lights going across the sidewalk and take then the down next right onto Forest the Avenue. Water. Then your destination will um, be on the left. Also, the flowers, like what would grow there, indicated that it drains really well from where those mercury vapor lights are down into the water. So those mercury vapor lights, if they were targeted, that's going to go down into the water. All right, I'm going to stop this video.